Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and as the caption states, I will be doing a Ross haul. Yes. <laughs> So before I get into it, I just want to let you guys know I didn't go to one Ross location and shopped only once. These items that I got, I got them at different Ross locations and at different timings. I will say though, the better location, the better products or items you will find at that Ross. So if you go to the Ross in the hood, you're going to find some shitty items or all the good items will be taken away or you won't see them. But if you go to like a very nice place, like a very nice area in the Houston area, you will find some very nice brands for a very nice price at Ross. I'm going to be doing the apparel, which is the clothing wear first before I do the accessories. I so the first piece I'm showing you guys is this two pack bra set. Um, and I typically get my undergarments from the brand of Calvin Klein just because at Marshalls and Ross they're affordable versus buying it at their actual actual store. I like it because as you guys know I lost over 70 pounds so obviously my bras they don't fit the same. They're big, they're loose, they're not tight, they don't support my boobs so I definitely needed to go bra shopping. I need my bras to hold my boobs so because I'm a very clumsy and jumpy, goofy individual behind cameras. <laughs> so I need everything to support me and my movements, okay? So yeah, this is Calvin Klein. And it's a two-piece set. Um, this is the white piece. I'm wearing the black piece. It was, oh, it was $30 for, I see it. See, they tried to cover it, but if you see it right here, you can see it right here that it's $29.99, but I got it on clearance for $20.99. So, removed about eight, nine bucks, so that's really good. Calvin Klein store, this would have been the original price. Yep, it would have been $84. So I'm thankful for Ross and I do still shop at Ross when it comes to like my undergarments and like accessories but when I find good stuff at Ross when it comes to the clothing wear I'm definitely going to get it too. Next I have these Adidas pants. These are the pants and yes I got it in a large so I'm so happy about that. Um, and um yeah it fits really really well i also got this reebok sports bra as well so i got it in a large okay. so at the reebok store it's 40 dollars, but i got it at ross for 8.99 and it was on clearance the pants were 19.99 so yeah the bra feels good. I might end up taking out the pads. I don't know. The pants feel good. Everything is... The next item I got was this very cute top. And the brand is Fabletics. I've never seen Fabletics at Ross. So the price was $9.99. And this was an extra large because I, I, I didn't see a large. Definitely... If I did see a large, I would have gotten it, but this was an extra large, so. The tulip flower back detail is so cute. And it's kind of, yeah, kind of roached back there as well. Also went ahead and got these shorts, even though it's not the same brand, I think it's just a one of those Ross brands. So I told you guys, I'm trying to step up in my active sportswear. Even if I'm not wearing this, go to the gym. If your sportswear is cute, you could use it as a loungewear, meaning that you could go out to the store with it, go out to just get a coffee, go out to get a smoothie or a salad. But um, these shorts were only $7.99. I got them in a large. So I'm so happy about that. I'm about to try them on right now. Hold on, hold on. 
So guys, look at the shorts. I really, really love it. Oh my God. It like brings out my curves, bring out my hips and it's tight um, in the right places. This top, like I told you guys, I got it in an extra large, but I actually like it. I mean, the arms are actually tight. It's just the waist area is not cinched enough. It's like a box. It's like a boxy top. Let me show you guys the back. Oh no, tell me what the back look like. It's so cute, isn't it? Just ignore the tags, guys, but this is what the back look like. And I am digging it. I have another top. And I love this top. It's a Dickies crop top. And I love this pattern. I love black and white stripes. And it was only $8.99. I'm gonna put it on real quick. Give me a second. So here's the Dickies crop top. It's just so cute. Find it to be really nice. Ah, ch -ch -ch -ch. This was only $9. It fits nice. It's a large. By the way, the pants are not from Ross. But if you are still interested in knowing where it's from, it's from Walmart. Doesn't really match. The black and white stripes don't really match, but just to put something on. Yeah, yeah. I got these Adidas shorts. They're kind of big on me. Yeah, I should have gotten these shorts in the large, but I didn't find any I had to get it in the extra large. I really wanted to get it, so. That's why I didn't really care what size it was. It was only $9.99. The original price at Adidas is $25. So I'm happy with the items I got. It's hot. I also got this underwear too. It's Calvin Klein. One is like a little hot pink. The other one is black. The original price at Calvin Klein is $26. But for Ross, I got these two for $12.99. And I got these underwears in a medium. Calvin Klein underwears, they do kind of run big. Because even though I was at my heaviest, I definitely got a size large in all of my Calvin Klein. I was like, you know what, let me get this in the medium. Because if I was 70 pounds heavier and I was wearing a large, I think I should be fine with the medium. So... So I had no business going to the purse bag department in Ross. Typically when I go to Ross, I don't go to the bag section because that Ross had everything. Like most of the brands that you see me wear in this video, it's from that particular Ross that I went to. So I was just like, let me see what they have in the bag department. So I came along of this cute thing right here. It's a white fuzzy bag, a white mini fuzzy bag. Oh my God, it's so cute. So it has um, a gold outline and it goes all the way to the other part. And you can open it like a little clutch and that's what they look on the inside. It's trash, obviously. And it comes with a chain so you could wear it as a crossbody or you could just wear it like a little clutch bag, which is what I'm gonna do. So, while I was in the bag department looking at that bag, I came across uh, this cute thing right here. <sighs> Lord, Ross definitely played with me that day. So this is a Steve Madden black floral crossbody bag. So, 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 so cute. Um, the original price at Steve Madden is $58, but I got it at Ross for $19.99. So I'm so happy. This is really, really cute. This is what it looks like in the inside. So it's really, 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 really cute. I can't believe I only got it for $20. Like, at the time, this was literally like the last purchase I got before I went in line at Ross, and I was already looking at a hundred and something dollars. So I was really contemplating if I should get it or not, but 
This is a good deal. $20 for a Steve Madden bag. And it's black floral. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Next thing I got was this really cool matte finish top coat. I can just tag this along anytime I'm going to the nail salon and have them put this coat whenever I want to rock matte nails. So next thing I got definitely, let me see. I don't have the light so you guys can see it. So I pretty much got this blending sponge trio. So you have the small, the medium, the large. The small is used for like the eyes and um, the medium is used for also the eyes and other small areas on your face. And the large is used for like a coverage or you could still use it for concealer under your eyes or anywhere on your face as well. So this was $3.99. I'm so happy I got this because I was always trying to find like the small beauty blender for an affordable price. So I'm glad I got it at Ross. My only problem is, the only problem is I hope it doesn't soak in and absorb the concealer versus it actually just being distributed and smudged on my face. Cause some, I, I, I've had some beauty blenders at Ross and it was just the cheapest thing. Next thing I got was this organic activated charcoal with coconut for the teeth. Uh, this is a natural alternative of trying to whiten your teeth versus going to the dentist. Next thing I got was this turmeric face cleanser, organic flower extract, organic lavendula extract. It's a whole bunch of organic stuff that it contains, which also caught my eye. Um, so I'll be trying it out. If I don't like it, I'm gonna give it to my mom because she likes natural stuff like that too. Next thing I got was this all natural deodorant it's called green goo that's the name of the deodorant company um and it's aloe vera oh it's a gel it's a gel glide oh that's cool so it's plant-based deodorant and it doesn't contain oh. so as you guys know all these organic and natural deodorants they don't contain aluminum so it says it doesn't contain petroleum aluminum baking soda or Phthalates, phthalates, but I will say I don't like the fact that I feel like I smell musty because it will have you smelling musty because these things are typically not strong and I guess I was wearing it during the summertime which I shouldn't have honestly if you want to switch from like an aluminum commercial deodorants to all natural deodorants I advise you to start wearing these natural deodorants when it gets cooler in the year so that's around maybe late October, early November, all the way until beginning of February. That's when I would like purchase these things because when you sweat, you do get, um, you can get musty. And these things, unfortunately, because they're natural and they don't contain harsh chemicals, they are not strong enough. So last but not least, I did get my Burt's V makeup removal wipes you go to any other grocery store it's about five dollars but at ross it's 4.49 which is really not a lot of difference but it is something um i'll choose four nine i'll choose 4.49 over five dollars any day anywhere anything but yeah guys so that's my little Ross haul. I'm done. If there's any videos you guys want me to do, just comment below. And if it's something that I can, I will. Have a blessed day. It's been... Yeah, I've been bored, but... Bye!